Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to show you panel channel and panel uh, CC offset. Uh, these are new features in MIDI Designer Pro 2 version 2.9 and uh, we think they're going to help a lot of people build a lot of things in a better way. So let's uh, have a look. Uh, I'm just going to start here with uh, a blank layout. Now um, I'm just going to go to more. This is uh, one of Michelle's layouts. This guy's been making a ton of layouts and they're awesome and they cover a whole bunch of cool VSTs. Uh, check it out. I'm going to put a link below in the notes. Uh, but anyway, uh, config and I'm going to go to new. And if I do yes and create default controls, I get the default controls in MIDI Designer, including this dude in the back. Um, but if I go to config and I go to new and I create without default controls, I don't get the dude in the back and the dude will never reappear automatically once you've deleted him. Uh, that was a problem that people were experiencing in 2.8 and below and that's fixed in 2.9. Um, it was a cool feature, but uh, it didn't work as uh, people wanted it to. So anyway, um, I'm going to show uh, panel channel and offset CC. So I go to more and I go into design mode. I'm just going to move the design mode button out of the way. Um, this guy has an undo button on the left and a lock button on the right. Worth exploring if you're building serious stuff. Um, I'm going to tap here and I'm just going to add um, just going to add four knobs and um, I'm going to add a panel as well. Uh, so now I've got a panel, I've got my uh, four knobs and um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, tap, double tap on this panel and I see that it's got allow panel controls to be on. This means that I can take any of these knobs and I can put them on the panel, the panel will light up and then they're part of the panel and that's pretty cool but sometimes you've got you know a ton of knobs or a ton of controls and you want to add them to a panel fast and you don't you want to basically drag the panel onto the controls now if I do that they don't pick up so instead what I'm going to do is I double tap on the panel again I'm going to just temporarily shut off allow panel controls and when I turn it back on, it will pick up those four controls. So that's a new feature in 2.9, and I'm going to go over some uh, extended stuff about that towards the end of the video. Um, but now the most important stuff, which is this panel channel and CC offset that you actually see here. Um, so the first thing is, if I look at these controls uh, at their MIDI properties, they got assigned automatic, unique, uh, channel and CC combinations. So the first one is 1-1, one, one, the second one is 1-2, one, 1-3, one, 1-4. One, um, so I'm going to go back to the properties of the panel itself and um, I'm going to change the panel channel, right? So if I change it to channel 1, that's not going to change anything on these controls, um, but then subsequent to that it will but even if I change it to another channel now, it's going to obliterate the channel on the controls. It's going to ask first, but it's still going to do it. So when I go from none to, let's say, channel 7 here, and I'm just going to do apply now. Um, well, it didn't ask in that case, but it said, assign this pa uh, it said that it assigned that channel to these four controls. So now let's have a look and see that that happened. So I double tap. Uh, or single tap on the second control here and now it's 7 2 7 3 7 4 7 1 so um, just to note it will ask in most circumstances I have to uh, check that code um, but in any case uh, so now on to the more interesting thing which is the uh, CC offset so if I double tap on the panel and I go back here so if I change the CC offset from none to zero, uh, nothing happens because nothing's going to be changed on the controls. So now I do apply now, and nothing changes on the controls. They're still exactly where they were. They're one, one, two, three, four. But now I'm going to just change the offset up to uh, 20, 
and do apply now and now the panel controls have changed to reflect this CC offset so now I look at them and they are indeed MIDI 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now the cool thing here is that the offset can even be above uh, the controls value. So the controls CC will move, uh, sorry, the controls CC, the, the CC will move relative to the CC offset. So I'm just going to take my panel and I'm going to shut off allow panel controls. I'm going to move it off and now I'm just going to mess with the panel independently. Allow panel controls. I'm going to just change this 20 to be um, a 90 and I do apply now and uh, apply and now I'm going to shut off panel controls again, bring it on top of my controls and put on panel controls and now it says this will assign this channel 7 to panel controls 4. All right, so it's going to obliterate the channel even though it's the same. Uh, do OK and now these are once again just to remember what's happening these are 721, 22, 23, 24 and sorry I'm going to select the panel so now on the panel if I change the CC offset from 90 and I drop it down let's say uh, by 10 to 80 okay and now I do apply and now let's see what happens so these have gone they were 21, 22, 23, 24 now they're 11 uh, 12, 13, 14. So they have adjusted their values relative to the CC offset and of course they will intelligently wrap if they're uh, near zero or if they're at zero they'll wrap down from zero back up to 127 and if they're at uh, you know a number near 127 they'll wrap back around to zero and start going up from there. Um, so that all works nicely. Um, now two other things to note here um, or at least one, is uh, now I can take the, the point of this, or one of the points of this, is that I can take the actual panel and I can do a make similar on it. So I do make similar on my panel, and now I've got these other knobs. This is, so now I've got one, two, three, four here, and this guy is five, six, seven, eight, and automatic naming, you can shut that off, but it's a kind of cool feature. I'm just gonna change the LED color of this panel and give it some serious alpha so we can see it. Okay, and now these controls are exactly the same for now, right? So if I go in here, these are 711 through 714, as these other guys were 711 through 714. But here's the cool part, of course, is I can take this second panel and I can adjust, let's say it's starting CC. Well, you know, these guys are four, so I'm just going to adjust it four up. Maybe it should be three up. In any case, uh, apply now. And now I've got, um, starting at the top, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that worked nicely, or I could change a channel, and I can keep doing this. So, you know, I can do this again, uh, take this guy, make similar again. And now I've got, you know, these uh, four more knobs. And... Um, I'm going to take it, starting CC, and adjust it up 4 to 88. Apply now. That worked fine. And now we've got uh, these next ones, and these are uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, down from 15, 16, 17, 18. So everything's working out, and I have this way to construct things. It's really cool. Uh, so moving ahead from here, just one other thing, and I've gone over this uh, in the developer log, uh, which is pretty similar. This video is pretty much a developer log, but I'm going to show um, uh, just how panels can be put on panels. That's kind of cool. So uh, now you've got the ability to make a panel. Panels are automatically grouping. They also um, happen to generally adjust with the page color. So I'm just going to change the page color texture LED for this guy. And you can see, yeah, so sometimes it'll turn dark and sometimes it'll turn light. That's the automatic stuff for the uh, panels. 
Oh yeah, while I'm here, I should also mention that panels get this really cool wrapping text. Um, so, you know, if this is your section for um, send effects, you can put that on the panel and it'll show up with this kind of cool wrapping text, uh, an effect that might, it's actually pretty useful also for finding out what's on there. Um, but beyond that, you can put panels on panels. Now, if you take a panel, and uh, I'm just going to alpha it up so you can see it, and I try to put it on this other panel, that won't work. So instead what I need to do is I need to shut off its allow panel members. And I do that, and now it goes right on the panel. And uh, now if I create a knob, let's say, or a button, and I bring it on, it's going to just go on, of course, the grouping one. So this gives me some flexibility for design, etc. Um, and, you know, we handled a whole bunch of other cases, like what if there's a panel on top of a panel, and they both allow grouping, which is the one that you get on the top one. Uh, a lot of layering stuff was fixed. Um, this has all been fixed for 2.9, so it's actually never been released uh, without those fixes. So uh, this is what you're going to enjoy for the next little while. Um, so anyway, that is panel channel and CC offset uh, in MIDI Designer Pro version 2.9. It's May 11 now. We're finishing up beta testing, finishing up bug fixing, uh, finishing up last minute feature ads. And uh, this should be out by, uh, let's say, May 20th, uh, by the latest uh, end of May let's say, maximally. And, um, and we'll see what happens with MIDI Designer Limited. At the very least, we're going to release this um, to the current limited users, and maybe we're going to open up uh, MIDI Designer Limited for some new users. Uh, not sure about that yet, but we'll announce something soon, if there's something to announce. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for the support and love and use of MIDI Designer. Uh, people have been sharing stuff and going crazy with MIDI Designer, using it uh, everywhere. We see on the Talk Bass forums, they're talking about us. On the Audio Bus forums, they're talking about us. And, you know, it's just everywhere on the Internet. We've got some really amazing creators. Uh, huge shout-out to Michael, Raleigh, to Michelle, Ebo Kai, uh, just continue people who just continue to blow my mind and there's a there's a huge list there are many more people um you know google us midi designer uh it's all happening thanks so much for watching and uh thanks for using midi designer and make sure to subscribe